to uh, wipe my filbert brush out. Okay, and I'm going to load it with some of that darker mixture that I have. Since these are closer, these mountains need to be with a, a darker mixture. So I'm going to add more dark to that mountain mixture that I added the uh, light to. And uh, let's go from there. Now, let's see here. Uh, about right here. Well, we don't want to cover up too much of our pretty sky that we had. So let's make these mountains. Let's make one right here. See, this mountain comes way down, it drops down in there. And then it comes over this way and just kind of creeps back off like this right here. Now we're going to lose this mountain here, but that's okay. Be fine. We just was wanting to build it, so that's all that matters. Now. See how I just add this dark to it? This is, helps tell that it's closer to you. That's what that dark value is for. All right, just something like that. And we got that one. One thing you also want to do is uh, blend, make this soft back here, like it's a misty area or a lake or something like that like this area right in here. But uh, what we can do is take this old fan brush that we got here that we did the, the clouds with. I'm gonna wipe the color out of it with a paper towel. And uh, then I'm gonna go up here to the uh, canvas. And uh, now you can tap this with a big brush, either way you want, but look, you can tap it with this fan. It's a, like a blender brush too. This gets in small areas. You're not limited to just using the same brush is the same way so try different different techniques and things like that and see what you can come up with and uh, we'll see how we can do it all right now we've got the the uh, mountain right here going let's do uh, some distant trees with the filbert brush I'm gonna grab that uh, mountain color you can do it with the mountain color these are going to be far off look right here i'm just going to pull down i turn it long ways and i'm pull down and i'm creating just like little tiny trees now remember these are far off so they have to be tiny so i'm just pulling them down now look do it this way see that you can make them grow back up but break that line up don't make it where it just goes through kind of make it look interesting. See that right there? And I made that disappear right on out through there. You might be asking me why I'm doing it this way. And to answer that question is, I got all this in. If I put in another mountain, it's gonna be hard to put it in there when I have it finished. So this is one easy way of doing it. So let's pull these down just a little bit, like this right here. This is going to be a reflection into the, we're going to have water. So let's just pull that down with the filbert. Now, I'm going to use that fan brush and I'm going to go gently across this. See that? Look. See there? Make it look like reflections. And I've got my trees. And you wonder how to do that uh, water line. This is the way you use a knife to do the water line. You Pull the paint out. I've softened it down just a little bit with some blue. And cut across, put it on top. And I'm just gonna cut a line in. Now notice I'm not just going all the way across this way. I'm actually just doing this. See that? I got that, so. Let's go ahead and uh, you can see that we have the, uh, you can soften that a little bit with the fan brush if you want to. But we got some nice trees going and we got the, the plane behind the trees right here and then we got the mountains and we got a big mountain right here. So 
what do we do with uh, the rest of this stuff right here so you might be asking yourself so um, I want to create a, a different mountain with a knife so let's go ahead and do that one we've got this one going let me clean this off here all right I'm going to get some of the uh, some of the the blue and some of the Payne's gray I'm just mixing it on a palette right here is all that I'm doing right now and uh, let's go ahead and uh, put a uh, another mountain right here so I'm trying to think of what would be a good place we could just put it right here in front of this one come down and bring the mountain maybe over here somewhere if we wanted to we could do it that way these are all different kinds of ways to do this. So the, one of the, the biggest things about painting is uh, trying to figure out where you want things to go in paintings. Uh, trying to figure out the right placement of stuff and how to draw the eye different areas and things like that. I put this mountain here and it pulls you over this way. So it just kind of, you want to look off to the left right there because you got this object in the way. So if I put an object here, then you'd look through the middle. Yeah, we're always wanting to look through things, look around stuff, just like in nature. And you look at this and recognize it for its beauty, but then you want to look into the picture. So uh, let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and uh, put a, a little mountain right here. I want to just make a little peak. Let's see how I loaded that color in. Now this one is uh, darker than that other one and we can also make this mountain going up. It's a lot easier when you're putting that on uh, this canvas board is a little difficult to put the paint on at times so you really have to watch what you're doing or you'll get your stuff all messed up. But uh, this one can have sharper peaks or, you know, we can add them onto that one over there too. Make it look the same. Sometimes they look pretty cool. All right. Let's say this one right here has got a, look, let's make that peak come up through there. So we've got a, a sharper peak on that one right there. This mountain comes down. Look at there. See how that just comes right on down through there. We can add more character to them. Bring this out. Maybe there's a, a peak right there. A rock that comes out, protrudes out. And uh, by making it a little darker, it makes it where you can see it better. So I'm gonna use this filbert brush to just pull some of this color out because we wanna pull some of this color right straight out of there and just pull it right into the ground right like that. One thing we can do is, uh, let's do this right here, watch. I'm gonna pull this up. See that? Pull this over this way. Look at there. Create some of these areas here, but I want some of them uh, sharper areas. We're going to create a little area, a recessed pool of water right back here and see what we can come up with. We've got a lake behind that, so let's, let's do this. All right, something like that right there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good right there. Now I'm going to use a, an old big brush. That's some of the things you can do with that filbert, but I'm going to use a big brush and I'm going to pull this down and let's just uh, blend some of this out right here. See that right there? Let's pull that down. Now notice I've got some water areas. I'm going to leave that. all that taken care of right there 
So we've got different areas happening right here. All right, lay that brush down. And uh, you can kind of see that we have the mountains going right here. And we've got a lot of stuff going on between those mountains. So uh, let's uh, focus on doing the, the snow right here on these mountains and putting the highlights on them. I'll show you how to do that with the knife. And you can do it with a brush or whatever. But we're going to do it with a knife this time. I'm going to show you some just the fantastic effects you can do with it. All right. I'm going to use a, the palette knife for this, number 10 palette knife, kind of show you some of the things you can do with this. And we've almost, you know, we're doing a, a campaigning with the things that we've uh, learned so far and put them all together, put some of them together and uh, come up with a little thing there. Okay, so for the highlight, I've got some titanium white out here. Let me put just a little bit more out, just to make sure that I've got enough to do this with. And uh, we'll get started on that here in just one second. Remember, for now what you want to do, what I like to do is uh, take some of that color and mix up a, a uh, shadow color and a highlight color of where the light's hitting. The shadow color be the being the uh, the shadow color being where the sun's not hitting. Okay. Now let's go ahead and cut a roll off of where the, the light is. Now remember we was talking about the light coming this way. So let's go ahead and uh, just start right here. And I'm just pulling that right down and turn the knife. Okay, just like that. I'll pull this one down. And the snow comes right on down like that. This one will come right on down like that. But I'm highlighting these peaks right here, and you can make these peaks just go different directions, do different things that you want them to do. See that right there? Just that simple. Over here on this side, we'll put some of uh, the snows on that back side right there. So let's just make that back side come down about right there. Right here some where the light's shining, catching the top of that. And that small edge we was talking about, I'll put a little bit on it, maybe right here. The light's hitting that. So let's wipe that color out. And let's go into the shadow color and uh, put some shadows on this thing. Now they're going to go the opposite direction. See that? Let's put that right in there. See that? We can grab these and pull them the opposite way so that they look like that uh, they're dark areas in the snow. But I'm pulling them this way and the other one went that way. So that puts a lot of light. Now these are kind of sharp, tall mountains. Uh, you can make mountains it's all different angles and things like that. So you don't have to make sharp, tall mountains. I'm just putting these in the painting because they're kind of adventurous. And we got something like that right there. Over here, I'm going to just turn this knife up like this and pull this down just like that. See that? Just no pressure. Just let that paint break right like it's going to. Just down through there like that. No pressure at all. See, 
Now you can just push those peaks right back. Just that simple. But you want a lot of this area showing through these dark areas because it looks like the ground and stuff and rocks from the mountain. So it makes it look pretty cool. When you got those showing. All right. Now, we've kind of got a crash course in that. that uh, it's got those mountains, but let's put some trees right around the base of the mountain here and, and uh, make it look like uh, these trees are, uh, the mountains are close to you, but we still want them to be far away like these other mount these trees, so it looks like it's, uh, uh, the altitude is right. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I've done that with uh, the filbert brush. Now we can do that with, guess what, the fan brush. So let's go ahead and load that fan brush up with some of this dark color that we've mixed up at black and blue. And I'm using a very limited palette today because I want uh, uh, you to be able to grasp this. It don't have to be done in a lot of color. We'll add a few more colors, but not too much. All right. Now, so right in here, I'm gonna just kind of flick up some trees. I've loaded this brush and uh, got this going. But look how, now keep your, don't let it go with the angle of the mountain. Let these trees stand straight up because that's the way trees grow. They don't grow crooked up a mountain. They always grow straight up. So we can uh, make these trees stand straight up. Okay. I got a few of them started, but before I go any farther, it's a good thing